Okay, good morning. We're up to Simon Reish Chof, Hatovas Chaloim V'Tanisei, dealing with Hatovas Chaloim, the tefillah you say if you have a bad dream and fasting on the event of a bad dream. Says the Mechaba, Haroya Chaloim V'Nafshe Aguma Olav, someone who has a dream and he is troubled by it. Yetivenu Ba'ape Tlaso, he should uh, make it good in front of three people, the Rachimulei, who, uh, who like him, who are friendly with him, Pirusha Oyavim who love him, the Leme Ba'apayon, he should say in front of these three people, Chelma Tova Chazoi, that I saw a good dream, the Leme Ru'inu, and they should say back in response, Tova Hu, the Tova Lihava V'chula, it's good, etc., etc. So this is Hatova Chalem, and, and don't think that it's like a, a sort of a very esoteric type of thing, you will find it in your art scroll Siddha, right, it's in the back of the Siddha, uh, page 420 in this edition, a uh, page of Hatovas Chalim. So it's quite a you know it's quite a common standard uh, thing. So what are the details? Says the says the Mishnah Berurah Sifkot Naalaf. The Nafshei Aguma Olaf. Haynu Sifkot Naalaf. Afilu Ein Bei Mashmois Lera. Even though the dream it, you know it's not a terrible it's not a nightmare it's not a terrible thing it's just there's no necessary bad bad uh, implications. Still that you just you happen to just be troubled by it. Um, what if you don't know if the dream is good or bad? It's just, you know, sort of confusing. It's just enigmatic. So that he says in footnote 1, Yeah, that's what it's... If you just stump have a dream, you don't know what it is, good, bad. So that's when, during Duchening, during the Siyas Kapayim, we say the Rebbein Shalom, Ani Shalach, V'chalamusa Shalach, etc. Um, and, and remember, now it's Israel, they, they do it every day, so you've got no problem. Here in Chutzlar, it's where you only do Duchening, you only do Nesias Kapayim on Yom Toivim. Kos of Shom, Shiyem Rukulim, but Tfilazu Bishas Nesias Kapayim, Kivin Shi'i Efsha, Shrechomel Pamachas, Bain Regal Regal. Inevitably, between, you know, since Sukkot now, uh, inevitably we had some form of dream at some point, and therefore everyone should say it, not just people who, uh, who've, who have specifically have had a dream. Okay, so, um, if, so if a person is troubled by a dream, then he can do Hatovas Chalayim, and uh, he goes in front of three people, and they are mate of the dream for him. Says Mishabura, see if got some base. Even when he is fasting, which is going to be the antidote to a bad dream, uh, still, he should still do Hatovas Chalayim. It's good to do it at Shacharis, because reason Magdim in the Mitzvah, you get on with it. But if he does it first thing in the morning and he's going to be fasting that day, they don't say the final nusuch, which is lech echel basimcha, go and enjoy your food and you know, go away basimcha and eat because uh, he can't, he's fasting. Uh, unless he's not fasting. Um, when they're, being, they're saying the nusuch of uh, being made to the dream, he should have in his mind the, the details of the dream. He does it in front of three people. He should try and find three people to be made of the dream for him, to make it good for him. Because it will restore his confidence, his, 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 uh, his nafshe. And you can even do it on Shabbos. Okay, two interesting things. Number five and number seven. Now this is, appears in the back of the Sefer, uh, page 53. So number five... Um, Number five, yeah. So, the what about if you can't do it yourself? Can you appoint a shliach to do hatovas chalom? So to go in front of three people and do it for you. So he says, You can't make a shliach and you've got to do it yourself in person. Sorry, the person who had the dream has got to come himself and he cannot appoint a shliach. And if a person's wife had a dream, then you can't represent her, but she has got to come herself in front of three people to do this. What if you can't find three adults? So he says in paragraph 6, You can do it in front of children, three children, so long as they understand and they can, understand, they can read properly. Oh, uh, they can learn. You can include in the three people even Katalim who are of age. The Rosh Hashanah writes that the Briskarov was very particular about Hatovas Chalim. 
Shemitzim uh, Yeshua Oyavov, that the three people should be close to him and should be uh, have affection to him. Achlehik b'chelo yikrevim elov oizelazer, and he wasn't worried about uh, being, being being related. Um, okay, what about th- what about three women? Can you do it in front of three? Do Hatovas Chalim in front of three women? So he says here, the Rebbe Yashiv writes, "She'ein lehitiv b'fneihem, v'al isha shechol machalim lechus b'fnei sheish anoshim." And even a woman who wants to do Hatovas Chalim should dafka do it in front of three uh, men. Um, what about a yochid mumcha? In, in Hilchus Dine in uh, Momina, sometimes you go in front of a yochid mumcha. So can you go in front of an av based in or something like that? So he says, "Ul lehitiv b'fnei yochid mumcha kosev aruch hashulchan sheminik b'har b'mekomim shachaylem." But if they rav ha'ir, he'll go. He'll go in front of the rav of the town. For who paisel achalim letoiva, kiven shele inyan dini mominus yochin mumcha dini l'shlesh hadiyatus. So for mominus it works. It works for here as well. And you can go in front of one chosh of rav. For kiven shemin hadstam harav oyev is called bnei ha'ir. Hopefully the rav will will love all the people in the city. Harizek misha meitim bnei shlesh meyavov. So it's like going in front of three people who who have affection to him. Okay. Uh, so the response is um, It was a good dream and it should be good. Says the Mishnah Berurah, You say this Loshen. You say this three times. You just follow the Nusuch in the arts now what if you dream about a dream about somebody else? It's not about you. So Yisana, you should fast. Uh, interestingly, you should fast. Because sometimes it does actually apply to you. You may be dreaming about somebody else, but actually it's, uh, it's referring to you. You know, but that's how dreams work. You know, there's a bit of always a bit of confusion in a dream, and you think it's referring to somebody else, but actually it could be referring to you. He says in number eight in the footnote at the back, he says, "Kan mashmasham is ana chaylim ba'atzme," that the person who is fasting is the chaylim himself. Amnam lekamon it says, "Shach shach chaylim yisapel chaveru shecholam alav." So in other words, who fasts? If you dream about somebody else, who's actually fasting? Is it you, or do you tell him to fast? So here it's mashma that the chaylim, the dreamer himself, fasts. And further it says in Sif Kotan Vov, You tell him about the dream so that he can fast. Which one is it? So, Here, when we say that the person who dreams is actually fasting, because he's going to cause distress to your friend. So you dream on his behalf, either for him, or maybe it's referring to you. So you are the one who fasts. That's only on weekday, but you can fast for your dream about yourself, but not if it's a dream about other people. If you're dreaming about another person, then you, you don't, uh, no one fasts, whether it's you who dreamt about the other person or whether you tell the other person, no one fasts in that situation. Okay, let's do base. Yofa, um, Yofa Tanis Levatla Chalomra. The, the, the best way to dissipate the bad dream is to, is to fast. The dafka bo bayom on that day. Vafilu b'shabbos. Finally, come on, seven tof reish pei ches. We'll get there in the shem. That uh, you're allowed to fast even on Shabbos. Amazingly, you've got to compensate for it. But uh, they explain that that is your enik Shabbos. The fact that you're fasting is an enik Shabbos for you. That it's taking away the bad dream. Okay, let's just do the Mishnah Berurah. You've got some hay. So yofa tanis lechalom. So, Ubris, what about pregnant women? If a pregnant lady or a feeding mother has a bad dream, uh, we do not tell them to fast. Give to the moment. They instead they can redeem it with money. They give money to Zdaka. Tanis, Avodavka Shekashaisa Tshuva Imay. Very topical to have this halacha on Tanis Esther. That where a fast is only good if it's accompanied by Tshuva. It's like a it's like a carbon. Ma carbon ain't a moil bli tshuva. Just like a carbon without tshuva doesn't work. Shenem a zevach rishoim toeva. Av tanis chaloim. So too with the tanis. Ka'esh l'na eres. Last sif mishabro. Mikol mokum ain't mechuyiv l'sanak el rishus. A person is not mechuyiv to fast, but you can if you want to. So two, two interesting points. Um, number thirteen and fourteen. V'im mispane misane. If a person does take on a fast because he had a bad dream, mispalal uh, boy anenu. He says anenu. 
Gam im lo kibul alov is hatanis mi esmol. Normally, you only say anenu if you makabel the tanis from yesterday. But if a guy wakes up in the morning and he has a terrible dream, he's allowed to fast that day with anenu, even though he wasn't makabel the tanis yesterday. Because of the kamash yochel leim at same tanis enu kimishem mishemayim he tzilov is hatanis. You can still say it's same tanis enu because that was sort of nigza on him from shemayim. Afshu rishus mikol machum kosv lekaman in fourteen. If a person has a dream on Thursday night and he wakes up Friday morning and he wants to fast, normally Arab Shabbos we try not to, he can and he should fast. He goes through till Nacht and he breaks his fast on Kiddush. Okay, so that's our Tavos Chalom, to say that Nusach and to, to fast is Roshus um, and even on a Friday.